before we got into the attic yesterday, we used what they call an infrared camera. I don't know if this will show up very well, what I'm looking at here, but it's basically a heat sensing uh, imager. I can put my hand on the wall here, and it shows the heat from my hand on the wall. And so whereas the blower door sees uh, air leakage, an infrared will see heat loss, uh, moisture, electrical. But what we did with this yesterday is we did a, what's called infrared scan. We looked at the walls, we looked at the attic, and it shows us where we have heat leaving the house or where we have cold spots. And what we found out before we even got into the attic, this is the infrared, we could tell where insulation was missing, where, where voids were, or that they might be problem areas. So when we got into the attic, we really kind of had some areas pinpointed. It's, it's not a cheap item, but it is, you know, if you can afford one, it's really uh, useful. What you can also do with this is after you've done maybe an initial scan around the house before you run your blower door test, and then when you do run your blower door test, you can do another scan with the uh, imager, and you can see if you're pulling cold air down bypass walls or open walls to the attic or crawl space, because what will happen is that image will change, you know, on the walls. If it's pulling hot or cold air through the wall, it will actually change. Uh, we're not going to hook this directly to the camera, but what we did yesterday is we took some uh, images yesterday morning and uh, we had some JPEG images that we downloaded from this camera and there's four pictures that we're going to show from the attic. And are the pictures ready to go? Okay, the first picture that you're looking at is actually in Mrs. Dixon's bedroom and she told us yesterday that that's the coldest room in the house. Uh, you can probably see the walls there. Uh, the walls are a little darker than the studs in the wall. The studs are the uh, bright areas and the dark areas are the, is the wall cavity and the outdoor temperature was colder than inside so right now it's, it's showing us that the uh, wall studs had more R value than the wall cavity. But the main thing in her room that we're looking at is if you look up toward the ceiling you can kind of see there's a bed post, that's where her bed is and right above her bed there's a big black spot uh, right directly above her bed and kind of uh, over to one side and that's spots where uh, insulation seems to be missing you know we can check that out when we get into the attic. But what happens is if you have voids and the heat's going to go to that place first because it's least resistance. Even if we've got, you know, R38 in the rest of the attic, if we've got some areas that have voids, the heat loss is going to go to those areas first. And then that R38 in the rest of the attic is not going to be near as effective, you know, and sometimes could be as, as, 50, little, as much as 50% less effective if it has a, you know, a large amount of voids, even as little as 5%. Uh, let's go to the next picture. Uh, the next picture is in the uh, bathroom, and that's the bathroom. The, 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 the bright item there is the bathroom fan, but the rest of that dark area is the ceiling in the bathroom. So it's a pretty good indication that there's no in insulation, you know, over that bathroom ceiling at all. So, you know, we had a lot of heat loss in there. Let's go to the next picture. Next picture is uh, w in one of the rooms, and you can kind of see along the outside wall, uh, we call it the soffit area and what you can see in that picture is that the insulation didn't get blown all the way over to the top plate. There's a, uh, uh, some voids there and when we got into the, the attic yesterday the framing actually changed. Uh, the, the, the joist actually started going the other way and I believe who was insulating the attic uh, thought that that must have been overhang area and they didn't insulate it. So basically there's about a two foot gap pretty much the entire way around the house that didn't get insulated. And uh, so we need to fill those voids in. Again, the heat loss is going to go to those areas first. And let's go to the next picture, which is the last one that I have for the attic. Is It's a similar shot where there's just insulation missing around the perimeter that didn't go all the way over to the exterior wall. So again, the heat loss is going to go to those areas first. You may, and especially in the colder climates, you'll see a house that may have you know, four or five inches of snow and the one next door has hardly any snow, you may be getting a lot of heat loss into the attic. Uh, could be from duct leakage or missing insulation, but you know, that's a good thing, especially even frost. You can pull up to a house and you can see if, if you know, the house next door has a lot or the frost is melting and it's a good indication of you might have something going on in the attic. So, but uh, 